Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. As part of the ETL testing interview question series, we have discussed a couple of questions. Till now, today we are going to come and work with the another query. So they have given below commands. Whenever we have first thing, they are asked, they inserted the 10 records. After that, we are going to roll back that. After that, we are going to delete those 10 records. And again, we are inserting 10 records. And after that, they are committing. And after that, they are going to roll back it. Then when you query select star from table, okay, how many records which is going to come? They wanted to understand from you. They wanted to understand from you. Let's understand this. Okay, let's do it practically. Here we are going to use the some dummy table. Okay, employee ID table. We are going to have a single column. Single column. Let's go to let's go to script. Okay. First, what I'm going to do, I'm going ahead and I'm creating the one table with the single column. Single column. Let's do it. Here we have created the column we have created the employee tcl because we are talking about the transactional control language that is the reason we are doing with this and if you wanted to insert multiple records at a time you are going to use the you are going to use the insert all command insert all command let's insert the data let's insert the data then after that what is the thing which we have to do we have to do here roll back roll back let's do it rollback if you do rollback what is going to happen now if i can query the data select start from start from employee tcl employee tcl how many records will come guys we are going to see zero records we are going to see zero records okay again what we are what is the next action which we are going to do Next action is delete records. Delete records. If nothing is there, okay, even if you can go ahead and execute, it is not going to delete anything. It is not going to delete anything. You can see here downside zero rows are zero rows are deleted. Zero rows are deleted. Again, we are inserting the data. Again, we are inserting the data. Now we have inserted, okay. Now again going back here and we are committing the changes, okay. Now if you do commit, okay, then what is going to happen? If you can see here, select star from employee DCL, okay. How many records we see? We see 10 records, we see 10 records, okay. Let's go ahead and do the rollback again, rollback again. If you do rollback, okay, we see rollback is completed. Rollback is completed in the screen. But now again, if you query the same query, okay, we are going to see 10 records itself because after commit, even if you do rollback, it is not going to do undo changes. It is not going to roll back because before committing only, you have to do rollback. Even if you commit, then if you do rollback, we are not going to see any changes. So the overall, whatever we have here, query has been queried, right? We can see 10 records is the output. Let's understand much more clear. First, you created a table. After that, you inserted 10 records. But here you are doing rollback, which means table contains zero records. After that, even if you perform delete 10 records, table doesn't contain any row. What it does, it is going to show zero records are deleted again you are inserting the data once you insert 10 records it is going to be available at table level and after that you are saying make the changes permanently which means it is going to save those 10 records permanently after that you are asking rollback which means after commit what even though you have done rollback it is not going to change anything on existing data which means overall output of this query is called 10 records. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching and supporting us.